Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, some of you know I've been going through some personal things and I uh, appreciate you reaching out for support and uh, it means a lot to me. But uh, for this week's video, uh, I just wanted to plug another guy's channel again. Uh, this is the Stargate guy on YouTube. Uh, Taylor has been doing a fantastic job over there. And uh, I wanted to congratulate him because he just hit 3,000 thousand subscribers which is just mind-blowing he's gotten like I think 700 just in the last month uh, his channel's been blowing up over there I wanted to congratulate him tell him you know what a fantastic job he's doing to you know for the Stargate community uh, new content every week he's just been he's crushing it over there and congratulations but a while back, I collaborated with Taylor. I thought he needed a uh, costume to do his videos in. So uh, I sent him a costume, and he was gracious enough to do a video on the whole unboxing and everything. So uh, for those of you who have never maybe gotten a costume um, or been thinking about even just a, an affordable, comfortable garrison costume to cruise the convention floor or get a photo op or get a autograph and meet somebody um now's a great time to do it um i appreciate all the support and orders and i'm trying to keep up with things as, as much as possible so for those of you that have maybe never gotten anything from me and you're just a watcher uh here's a little bit of what you could expect from ordering and you know a, a review from a real customer so without further ado, uh, I'm going to send this over to Taylor's video on his unboxing of his brand new SGC Garrison costume that he now wears for all of his new Stargate videos. So again, congratulations to Taylor, and let's take a look at it. Uniforms are essential in the Stargate universe, even in Stargate universe. They let us know who's an honorable member of the SGC and who is hell-bent on galactic domination. Who we should befriend and who we should put holes in. Well, I was curious about these uniforms and about how we as fans make and use these uniforms. So I am going to examine one of those uniforms coming up right after this. Hey everybody, I'm Taylor and I'm the Stargate Guy, where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. Today we are looking more at us fans rather than the show itself, because us fans are what's going to make the show possible in the future, and what has kept the spirit alive even after 10 years of Stargate being off of the air. Now us fans of Stargate, some of us love Stargate so much that we don't just sit on the couch and we watch the show. We actually get up off of the couch and we proactively do something to share our love of this franchise with others. Some of those people have created props and costumes who are called cosplayers and they demonstrate their awesome abilities at Stargate conventions, at sci-fi conventions, at comic cons. And these people are what I find very fascinating. And I wondered exactly how good these costumes and props actually are. They look good on screen. Some people dress as uh, SGC team members, as Ori Priors, as Jaffa, as Wraith, as whatever the heck that thing is, an event horizon, maybe. I don't really know, I don't, I don't get that one. Uh, but some of these fans have taken it to the next level and doing this has actually been a profession with them and they've become professionals in making and developing costumes and props. Now, one of these fans who's also a subscriber to this channel is named Ryan Nixon. This guy served in the Navy for 20 freaking years working on parachutes, making sure that they actually work and they don't like kill people. And afterwards, he started to make props and costumes. And he now does that as a living professionally. This guy has had stuff appear in uh, Green Lantern, in Extras, in Ender's Game, in Stargate Origins, and he's now actually working on a prop to appear in a Marvel movie coming out in 2019. Now this guy's also named Stitch in his website, Stitch's Loft. Dot com. Go check it out in the description box down below. So Stitch has been awesome and he's actually sent me one to check out for myself and to even keep if I so desire and I so like it. So let's crack this baby open. Let's see how good these fan made or in this case these professionally made 
than costumes and props really are. All right, let's bust this bad boy open. Hey, <laughs> buddy, let's take a look at this. There he is, the man of the hour. Over 28 years of experience in industrial showing on flight equipment and tactical gear. Damn, son. Holy cow. GC, baby. <laughs> he got that right. These patches are on by Velcro. Uh, in case they have to go out into civilian land, these can easily be taken off. I love the detail of that. We have some trousers. Oh, and second shirt. Sweet. Buttons are on nice. Look at that. That's just, this is really good, good material. This is like the actual material that they use for BDUs. Wow. You know, I never actually paid that much attention to uh, belts that were on the show, but I'm betting that if I did, this would be it. Ah, of course. Because, if you notice, with uh, SGC team members, they always have a black shirt underneath their BDUs. BDU trousers, olive. Yeah. And there we go. That's it. So let's uh, let's put these boys on and see what it's like. I don't know if you can tell. Green screen. I might have to turn the green screen off for this because it's it's all of draft. But okay, okay, guys. Seriously, this is freaking nuts. Look, check that out. SGC baby. Okay. Tauri. Dude, and like seriously. Okay, so here's here's a picture of SG1 in BDUs. Right. I mean. <laughs> This is, this is, uh, it's a simple, it's a simple military uniform, but this is, <laughs> I'm geeking out really big here. Oh my God. Okay. The, the, just the small stuff, like the, the elbow pads in the, in the shirt, well, not the pads, but the extra, uh, patch of there, because those areas wore out more, so they stick an extra patch of, of material there. The patches themselves, the fact that they are on Velcro, I mean, that's a big detail that a lot of people don't get. Uh, the, uh. Oh, this is crazy. In this pocket right here, I, I don't know if you can if you can see that right up there. There's a miniature pocket within the pocket for like a pen or a lighter or something. And I've actually looked that up. That's accurate. Like late 90s, BDU, pocket in a pocket, totally accurate. Oh my gosh. This is, this is your, okay, check out, check out these trousers. I don't say this to a lot of people, but, uh, but check out these trousers. Okay, so like bottom half, trousers, okay, a little, little tie around the waist, that's probably, that's probably my fault. The, the ties on the bottom, that goes around the boots, accurate, extra material on the knees, okay, pockets are really nice, and there's these big pockets on the sides. This is, this is, <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm geeking, I'm gonna have to get boots now, like this is, this is, uh, this is crazy, this is crazy good, oh my goodness. So now I know what it feels like to be a member of uh, Stargate Command uniform and all. I'm just missing the boots at this point. It's freaking awesome, man. I'm geeking out so hard right now. Honestly, honestly, um, I can see this now after like wearing this and examining it and like comparing it to the images that I see in, in the series. This is pro work, man. If you guys are interested in any of this, if you're interested in uh, Stargate props, Star Wars props, costumes, any of that, Honestly, go check out stitchesloft.com. This guy is, this guy's a pro. Like, really, I'm super glad he's a subscriber. Stitch, you're awesome, man. You, uh, this is, this is awesome. Should I, should I like wear this in my videos from now on? Like whenever I'm doing a Star Evening, should I, should I wear this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Great Stargate content is coming out every week where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. And until next time, I'll see you on the other side. So there it is, straight from Taylor. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that like button. Please like and share and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.